how you doing, YouTube? <laughs> yeah, this is a little bit of Flown Craft Beer. Uh, like I said, this comes courtesy of my boy Thomas from Thomas Open Beer Review. Um, this is double IPA. And what do they say on here? It says, uh, uh, speak their good. I don't know if I'm pronouncing any of this right. Um, oh, wait. And Jack just said it's called phlegm. Oh, that's kind of weird. Um, anyway, uh, <laughs> and uh, he says, uh, a name that would be, imply something hard as nails, as an artwork uses hard denim fabric to create a soft lines, so do we use a lot of oats to create something soft, a juicy IPA with loads of orange, ripe tropical fruits, gooseberry, and grape. Don't let it can art for you. This might look tough, but it's soothing to the max. And that's when I did the unboxing was one of my favorite things, is, is don't like the, let the art fool you. Um, that this beer is soft and not hard as nails. Can somebody explain to me why Campbell's Soup and Denim makes something hard as nails? Because I would never have thought that a painting of denim in soup would imply hardness. Anyway, um, so uh, we're going to do this proper if it's from Deutschland. It's a 440 mil can. Um, and it has a best by date... Hmm. See, it says canning date. I can't see it. It says 412. It doesn't make any sense, but it says Best Buy of August 20 of 21. So I don't know what the dating on this actually means. Like, I don't know what the canned on date because 412. Oh, December 4th. That's what it's from. There you go. Okay, so it's it was canned on December 4th. I always forget about those weird Euro. Euro uh, dating weirdness you guys do over there so uh december 4 so it's only two months old that's not all that old and we'll see what's what i do like the picture though so the label is kind of fun so here we go put that up there um and comments wise uh everybody telling me slim is actually how you pronounce it chicken soup from campbell's cures the common cold i uh actually really enjoy uh campbell's chicken soup man i know it's not the best it's probably not good for you but I drink like a can, at least a can a week. I love that shit so much. This is kind of semi-clear IPA, which is kind of cool. Uh, uh, so, yeah. Artwork by Rob Mo Mo Molan. Mohalan. Blue Composition, Kanto 44. So, yeah. Label-wise, it's all right. Beer-wise, as you can see, it's, it's relatively clear. It's like a... Um, it's not like a super butternut squash soup kind of new schooly kind of super turbidiness. It's it's a, it's a bit clearer. Um, looks like old school, new school IP. Headyish in its kind of vibe. I mean, I mean, I mean. It's got this cool pineapple peachy thing going on for me. To be honest with you, it's not overly aggressive. I mean, you're talking about an 8% double IPA. Um, you'd expect probably a little bit more hoops to it. It comes off a little bit lighter. But it, it, it's, what is there it smells really nice. And it's like, like I said, it's like, it's almost like a, like a, a pineapple peach ring kind of vibe to it. So it's got a little bit of sweetness. And uh, it's not overly kind of sweet. It's more of like a powdery confectiony kind of sweetness. And that's pretty much it. I'm not getting much as far as bittering. But that soft little fruitiness, done and done. Dive in. Cheers. I like that. It definitely has this kind of jelly candy kind of sweetness to it. So it's not it's not like super sugary sweet, like white, uh, white sugar. Um, sweetness, but it's not like a powdery, soft kind of confectionery kind of sweetness. It has this kind of soft, like I said, like a jelly, like a like a peach ring. Think about that, like a peach ring kind of sweetness to it. It's less sweet than that, but that kind of vibe to it, the way the sweetness comes off. And it definitely hits you with soft pineapple, non-acidic kind of pineapple, kind of citrus. A little bit of peachiness, nothing too crazy. Underripeness across the board. And a little bit of soft, like tropical fruit, like star fruit, like a kiwi kind of vibes. It's nice. It's tasty. I mean, the mouthfeel is drinkable. I mean, you can even see from the way the beer kind of comes off as far as how it looks. 
it's not like a super like dense beer so it has this kind of drinkability to it it really does remind me maybe not on the the danky bittering side of things because there is a bittering here but there's a bittering here but it's relatively generic it reminds me a lot of those old school, new school beers. So old school, kind of like heady, fiddlehead, second fiddle, those kind of things going on. You know, your Lawson's old school, the New England style IPA before it became like a crazy new school New England style IPA. It has those kind of vibes, minus that danky green thing going on. It lacks that, but it's definitely a fun beer, a tasty beer. Yeah, I'm not pissed at it. The whole thing's going to be drank. There you go. Done and done. So let's talk about it. It's one of the better double IPAs I've had as of late. No. Um, it's worthy of being in a conversation, though. Um, you know, it's tasty and fun. Really well made. There's nothing as far as negative goes. But I really do enjoy my beers. The skew a little bit more in line. With a softer mouthfeel. A little bit more explosiveness. And I even want that bittering. I want a nice green, grassy, uh, even minty. Something. Give me something. Scallion, onion, something along those lines. I do dig on the kind of drop out all bitterness uh, New England style IPA. Uh, uh, as it were. Uh, but even then, I it, it, the prerequisite for that is to have that soft, sultry, creamy mouthfeel. With those big, bursting kind of fruit flavors. And, and so it doesn't have either or any of that really going on it's giving you a nice fun kind of sweet fruitiness kind of slightly kind of it's not synthetic but candy like but not hard candy like kind of fruitiness without really much as far as bittering goes but a really drinkable package so like i said it comes off like some of those older kind of ipas um i have no idea where you can get this or how much it costs now i actually was seeing that jack and a couple people actually knew about this brewery ronald talking about it jack talking about it so obviously it's something that could be had i mean jack's from london um you know what i mean this was sent to me from uh from netherlands so i assume it's something that people can over over there can get um I'm not sure how much it is a can. Over here we do four packs, I believe. Over there it's usually per can. And leave you with it if you like what we like this. If you like those really old school, new school kind of IPAs. Again, like I said, the second fiddles of the world. The, you know, heady, old school heady. Because heady has changed. I don't know if people realize that. Old school heady. And um, and like sip and stuff like that. If you dig those kind of beers, I'll dig this. So there you go. A little review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. There you go.